Buffy and Cesar. Oh yeah! Woohoo! So we're gonna learn how to just catch a number. So I'm about gotta throw it like right, right there. That's that's the main goal of how to catch. Catch it like this. You wanna go like this. But if it's like up here, and you have to do one hand, make sure you catch it like this. That's all for right now. you throw a ball. First, you're going to take your hands and make them like this. You're going to grab onto the ball, look for your target, and throw the ball. That's how you do it, Joe. That. that is how you catch it over the head. You go like this. Not go like this, because then it'll just fly over you. You want to catch it? So you don't stop, you, you want to catch it like this, so you don't stop your speed and then you'll run into the touchdown. This is how you do a one-handed catch. Don't me. That's how you do it, man! So you want to go like this with your hand so you could get, get the grip and then once you pull it in, that's just how you do it. So once it comes in, don't just hit on it with all your grip. And then once you're done catching it in one hand, put your other hand on it, then you can run for a touchdown. Touchdown! This is how to hurdle. So let me show you the example. So come on, people. We need to go in the basics now. When you're hurdling, you don't want to go like this. Well, it's because it's easier, but it doesn't look as cool. And it, um, if, if you're a boy, you can hit in the dunk-ons. That really hurts. So you don't want to do that. You want to protect the dunk-ons. So like that. And if you do like that, someone can just hit you right in the dunk-ons. So yeah. How you do a spin move? First, you're gonna start running towards this defender. So you're gonna be like right here, and then you're gonna take pivot, take one foot, stand there, and then you move, and then you breathe. And so you can keep running faster because then you're when this leg is over, you're gonna spin, and then your leg is over there, so you can, can have that power keep flowing. So you're gonna go whoa, and then. Step, turn, and go like that for a touchdown. This is how to do a juke move. So, what you want to do is like, if you want to get real, real fancy, you want to go step once, step twice, and then over. But it's still good to go like step once and then go that way because then nothing. You're going this way, but then you're really going that way. Then it's gonna hurt the ankles. Then they're gonna die. So, yeah, bring in the dummy. Oh, right now, um, you step over here, and then I go this way. So that's what I do. So now we're doing it in fast mode. 